I'm Nancy Friedman, the telephone doctor. On a snowy, cold, but we got the fire. It's not going now, but tonight when we watch a movie, we'll have a fire going. You know, we all get cold emails and we all send them. And that's part of doing business and sales. But I got a few the other day that I wanted to share. They're not terrible, but they're worthy of improvement. So I wanted to share my thoughts on the improvement issues. I will need my glasses. All right. It starts out with, hi, Nancy, you don't know me. I don't know why we would start with a negative. I, I just don't understand that, but it's done. So she did not, or he did not have me at hello. But I wanted to reach out to you because my company is looking to partner with your company and companies like you. Here comes the part, not offended me, but I'll tell you why. I noticed that your franchise is in a position to, we are not a franchise. Nowhere on any of my social does it say we're a franchise. Do your homework when you're writing somebody. It's, a, it's like misspelling somebody's name. They never forget it. They never forget that you mispronounced or misspelled your name. Do your homework if you're, okay, some of us buy lists and just shoot them out. Uh, not my favorite, and this is what happens. This is why the response rate is so low. So we're not a franchise. Uh, I'll leave out, not the garbage, but, and then she makes a statement. I, all right, you know, it's a she. I, did, I wasn't gonna say whether it's she or he, but I, it's, I don't wanna get nitty, nitty bitty gritty and nitpicking and you know all sorts of things. So there were three items. Number one, we're not a franchise, and she refers to us as that. Her second thing is, we're looking to accelerate. How does she know? That's an assumption. Maybe we're very happy how we are. You know, sometimes too, too big is too many problems. You just don't know. That's, that's not even an issue you need to, to bring up in my opinion. Here comes the part that I find offensive. If you're around this week, would love to learn more about your marketing needs. Let me know when you're available for a call or use my link to directly schedule. I have never felt the need to ask somebody to call me. As a salesperson, I've always felt the obligation was on me to reach out to them. So a closing paragraph might be, trust me to follow up. That's all, trust me to follow up in the next week or so. But not forcing is not the right word. Suggesting people schedule a link, I. Maybe it works, I don't know, I don't do it, so I don't know how good or bad it is. But bottom line, those are the issues that you can improve on for making a cold call. Good luck, I'm Nancy Friedman, the Telephone Doctor. Make it a great day.